Hey everybody, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we have more Kurt's Pell with you guys. So guys, I quickly wanted to let you guys know that if you hit F, because I've gotten some comments that some people are having a hard time, the game's a little laggy, etc, etc. If you're playing by yourself, if you hit F, you have the option for single chat. Um, this essentially puts you in a lobby all on your own. As you can see here, I'm by myself. Um, I think this will help with some of at least what's going on I'm not entirely sure I feel like my game's gotten a little bit smoother since I enabled this um it looks really nice so today guys we have some things uh, we're gonna continue Let's see I believe if we go over to the map here we we have a storyline we're gonna do the uh, crimson five all right let's get into the main quest we're gonna be completing the blazing uh, blazing fist quest which gives us the final thing we need the final piece of equipment we can get for now I believe until you until we unlock dual swords. Um, wow, it just gives us everything right in the first mission. I don't think I've been, ever done any of these missions, but sure. So that's just us. We're going to accept this mission and let's get a rolling. Now that we've spent three minutes talking about lobby stuff. <coughs> all right. So I want to thank you all for subscribing. Um. And I want to thank you guys all so much for breaking my view count on my first episode as making it my most viewed video. So, story time. I'm actually kind of curious with all this, what the story is in this one. <coughs> so reason why I'm actually planning on playing this mission is because uh, I tried some of the PvP stuff and the gauntlets just seem overpowered. So I'm wondering if the sword and bow are actually like the worst items you could use. But literally I've gotten no story thus far. What's going on? Do you? I have no idea what's going on. Alright, well, I don't like you, so we're gonna tab over into uh, E. Oh, that's right, this has a casting. Out of there. Okay. It's gonna take me a second. It's been a couple days since I. Well. It's been a little bit longer than a couple days. Okay, well, I should have tried to dodge that. Alright. I'm hit. I am getting lucky with my dodges. But I have out of. I've run out of stamina. Okay, can I. Nope, I can't swap mid beat down. Um. Shift tab. Not shift tab, that's the wrong thing. Um I, I forget I have basic attacks. Oh shift. Okay. Um I I've forgotten all of my combos, oh god. Um Wow, okay, I do not know why. This is what happens, kids, when you don't play often, you uh, struggle with your basic stuff. Okay, well, that was interesting. The training grounds in 
test out all the combo-y things, and I will obviously build up to um, when I got to the ultimate. All right. Cool. Got a new item. So, let's see. Boop. We got a new karma. Unfortunately, we are going to replace the staff. Okay. And we. So we got Wild Fury. Obviously, we haven't unlocked that. Okay. I'm ready. Um, we obviously got that. We got a unique karma crystal. All right, um, I'm not sure how I feel. Let's, let's see. I wonder, do we have to go through the rest of the story to unlock the rest of the moves? That's the case. Yeah, it looks like it. All right, well, I wanna, I'm obviously not gonna just jump into that. I kinda wanna see what this move is. And um, if needed, I'll cut this part out and I'll just do it all. Our good staff, unless we need the gauntlet, because the staff is best weapon. Um, at least I like the staff a lot. Some people are not a fan, but that's just other people. Alrighty, we're booting into the world, into the second mission. It's pretty nice. I, I think the gauntlet and the staff might be a good combination, but I've seen a lot of uh, gauntlets and swords, or gauntlets and bows, so... And these are clearly people that have spent way more time in the PvE than I have. I'm also thinking about getting people that own this game to play with me. What do you think? Uh, bring on my buddy Black Moon Dragon. We've, we've sat down and talked and we're going to try to get him to play. Ooh, who are you? I am not scared. So let's get this going. You got way too close for my comfort. Um, let's shift out of the way, and you want to shift, wow, that was way too close for my comfort. Okay, ow, that... Yeah, you do not want to fight him. Fighting him head on is not good. Um, whoop. There we go. Come on. Oh god. Come on, get up. Get up and Q. Where is he? You want to ultimate on him. Just ult. Ugh. Just stay out of... I, I don't like that he said final judgment. Staying out of his range is my... Oh, well, I'm not in his range either. Whew. This is your punishment. Okay. Um, e. I made mistakes. I should not have been standing there. Um... Well, that was big oofs. Really big oofs. Um, well, back up. Uh, we're back to what weapon we probably should have been using. Get, stay out of the range. Use R to close the gap. Dodge. Uh, come on. Alrighty, so the sword is good, as the game tells you in the intro, it's good for getting the breaks down. So like, it's actually a, a team up weapon, which is nice. Oof, ow, he hurts. Okay, well, seeing him would be the best way. I, I don't know what I did, but we're gonna act like I know what I did. 
Okay, he is not a friendly boss. And honestly, we are just going to wait for... I must wait for everyone here. I can't leave here. <coughs> If this DLC is meant to somehow tie into the main story, they should really put some sort of like lock or something on it until you get to a certain point. Who are you? I've never met you before. Stolen, like it's early release, early access, all that fun stuff. So there's. Obviously a lot of kinks with the game. We got another Crystal Karma. That's pretty good. Um, We'll worry about that after. Who's waiting to talk to you? Ooh, she's up here and she wants to chat. What do you got for me, Fox? Glad I found you in the Tome area. Hello. Hello. Uh, here, if you can't... Win with my karma, Diablo Witch. You're hopeless. It's the ultimate karma that has all my magical knowledge and experience. It's going to make you the most powerful chaser. Of course, assuming that you train hard every day. Uh, you're Fox Wizard. Now, now, a new hope. Where's your your horror by the Christian and stepped into a trap and said, Hey. I'm not making fun of you, I thought you were very cute. Alrighty then, I'll see you around. Cool. Alright, we got a new affinity. Ooh, nice. More affinity. We just got the next crystal, which we'll check out here after this last mission. I ordered what I assumed to be the last mission, because it gives us the final crystal. Yeah, this is the final mission. Then we'll try it out, and then in the next episode, we'll go back to the main story, or maybe some PvP. I haven't decided yet. I want to sort of just level up and see if I can get some other weapons, ears, lots of stuff. Lots of... For episode 5, I feel like I'm doing fairly well. Let me know if you guys like these lengthy episodes, like the 30 minute long, or do you want them shorter. Just let me know, down in the comments below. Okay, well, nope. No story required, um, I think we're gonna tab over shiz, I did not mean to have this one equipped. Well, I guess there's nothing like on hand experience, so R seems to be, nope, okay, that, I have, I don't think this is gonna, yet. I have no idea how you fight this, but standing in its obvious attack is not it so okay we're back to the death beams I think I messed up and I need a ranged attack by now um, well I'm going to assume I have to get under it and hit it which makes this a very hard boss to fight especially when you only have close range things uh getting close. Come on. Cute. Well, we're right on top of it, so I'm hoping, yep, that did as much as I expected it to do. Well, three. Cool. Um, hmm. We play the avoidance game? Okay, never mind. We don't play the avoidance game. We play the knock we get knocked over game with one HP. Uh, uh, run, run, run. Avoid, avoid death. Avoid death. Just keep avoiding death. 
Alright, there we go. So, it looks like the only way to hit this is by its little tentacles at the bottom. Which makes it a very unique boss. Then it rushes you, we'll dodge, and we'll use our third ability. So. For this boss, you just want to keep distance between you and it when it's attacking. Um... It's not a it's not an easy boss, especially if you do not have the staff or the bow equipped. Come on, move, 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 move. Oh, thank God. Darn, I did not move. So now it's gonna reset my uh, karma, or yeah, my karma's a ultimate, and I'm gonna have it pretty low health, but I'm pretty sure I only got one or two more of these knocked down. So we need to make the most out of this. And. Oh, come on already with that it is a very entertaining boss and uh, I realized that I messed up oh snap the only good thing about uh, yeah just dodge roll through those come on almost there almost there come on. we're getting back avoid if you've played an MMO, you pretty much know how to avoid its area attacks. Um, okay, so we want to get right up underneath it because it has a hard time hitting us. Although, I made boo-boos. I'm trying to knock it down, and I'm not doing a very good job of that. Do as I say, don't do as I do. Because you will succeed way more of the time than I do. Oh, snap. Well, at least it knocked me out of it. Nope, not where I wanted to go, but I still had immunity for my get up stage, so. I don't think I was close enough for that, but we're so close to knocking it over. Honestly, you just want to be careful of that. And I think I'll do a more in-depth breakdown of the bosses later. Um, because I'm still very much learning this game. I don't, I don't get to play it as often as I'd like. Um, okay, and as I was stating, stay out of the way when it's rampaging. It's God. That just literally one-shot me. And even with my karma being full, there's nothing I can do against it. I think, I literally need the staff or... I don't even think the gloves here would help. Like, I'm gonna try the gloves because I'm at... I have to fight it in close range anyways, but... It, it's in its, like, desperate stage where I... I am having a hard time, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. There, I just... I, I don't know what to say here. I'm sorry. Oh, out of that area. It's not an easy boss to fight. Okay, well, the glove, the gauntlets did help me there. Um, I, I'm not a fan of that boss. Honestly, guys, if you're going to take on that boss, have the staff or have the bow. No, I only went down a few times. Yeah. Did he now? Honestly, I love the art style of this game. I'm 
doing here? Please, you must stay awake. <sighs> you lost consciousness. I've asked for returning the Talion to the better of the stranger. Very complete. Believing we'll be all right. All right. Is it only the beginning? Okay. Well, uh, as much as I don't want that boss was annoying, I am not looking forward to refighting it at a later date. Thank you. And hey, we got an achievement. Cool. Alrighty. There's a hero chaser. Open the gate game menu to check information. Okay. Got a new item. Nope, not one. And community level up. Oh, that's something I didn't realize. You can become soulmates with one of these characters. Well, Good to know. All right, let's make sure everything's equipped. For Gauntlet, two new Karmas. All right, let's go try these out. And obviously, we'll take a cut in between trying to get to the ultimate. Um, I'm probably gonna also cut out that first part just because it was um, just showing off the Gauntlet without all the stuff was kind of silly. And yeah. Alright, so those are your basic ones, abilities up at the top. We have our E ability. Let's get in nice and close. Oh, or not. If I could stop, like, running at the speed of sound. We have our R ability. Which does, I have no idea. But we're just gonna hold because that's what the game tells us to do. Oh, that doesn't seem very nice. All right, so those are the basic abilities. Um, these are actually kind of nice. They 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 abuse players for using the other weapons because they're super slow. Uh, one thing I realized when I was playing the PVEs that you could just knock a player down repetitively, then charge up and grapple them again. It's super annoying. It does consume a lot of stamina, but if you can get them locked into a loop, which is very much possible, then it, it just abuses the player. Um, I think the R ability is kind of nice, because it allows you to charge up and does a lot of damage. And the F ability is another grapple ability. It allows you to just throw them. And if you can close some distance, you might even be able to combo out is very much likely all right so we'll take a cut here and when we come back we'll see what the ultimate does all righty guys so we are back now that took about let's uh, say nine minutes to get to the alt so we better make this count i swear all right so um can we even oh i guess we can't look at what our ult is called okay wait we actually got to do this quickly because it's draining so um. 
Okay. Um, that was an interesting ult. Honestly, I didn't know what to do. I think we could have moved around a bit. But that is this episode, guys. I have to get this ready to be edited and uploaded. And I have a couple more episodes I'd like to film today. But... Uh, thank you guys so much for coming out and watching and until next time guys I've been this little world and I will see you all later uh, Remember guys if you're new to the channel remember to like comment and subscribe it helps me out figuring out what you guys want um, I've been also playing a game called Dauntless if you guys would like to see some Dauntless content I would m more than happily do that as I said all the combos are up here and we're gonna finish this video off with my favorite combo one two three Boop, boop, and we just pumble him and then you kick him into the ground. Alright guys, I'll see you all later. Peace.